Hey guys, welcome to my channel, One Mom Plus Three TV. So, I hope you guys like my new setup, and this is how I can show you guys all the meals that I cook and what it is going to look like. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, I got this thing from a yard sale. And I got it on 280 Fahrenheit. We washed it, we cleaned it, everything for what we could get off of it. So we bleached it, we did everything, okay? Trust me. So I'm gonna put in some extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna be making some very frugal uh, egg fried rice. So let me know if uh, you guys like this setup or the old setup. So if, it was only like two tablespoons of oil in that bottle, so I'm just gonna add about two more. Since it's super hot in here, I got me some orange juice and ice to drink. This also comes with a lid and I got it for about two dollars. So in this I'm gonna let that oil heat up. Um let me Go ahead and wash off some mushrooms that I'm going to be using. Not I need a nice place. Where's my cutting board? I can't never find that thing when I need it. Oh my god. Rinse it off, please. So, um, I have my cutting board here and the knife, and I'm going to be uh, just cutting up some mushrooms. I'm not going to put a lot, I'm just going to use four mushrooms. So. I don't like the stems of the mushrooms, so we're gonna go ahead and take those off. Like I said, this is just a veggie fried rice. My rice is already cooked. Um, I used about four cups of rice to about uh, eight cups of water in my rice cooker. Sorry for this uh, table being unsteady. I'm gonna have to put my foot on it. But I also got this bar table for free. So we went to a garage sale um, the other day. So. Sorry, yeah, my phone is vibrating. So, hold on, it vibrated the camera down. So let's go ahead and put that back up. So, I'm gonna throw away the stems. I don't usually throw away the stems, but I'm doing it. Dumping in my mushrooms. And, uh, dogs trying to get in a trash can. These flies are so annoying in this summertime. Oh my god, who is doing my phone like that? Anyways, sorry y'all. So I'm only adding about I got the carrot. Who is that? <sighs> Sorry, y'all. 
don't know what's going on. Please stop vibrating my phone. If you're messaging them, stop vibrating my phone. So. Just cutting up some carrots. Not adding too many carrots. So So, I'm going to add in uh, the cabbage as well. to cook down the cabbage and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and add the lid on top. And I'm going to go ahead and put uh, the mushrooms and the onions up. I mean the mushrooms and the carrots up. Winter out. So it does not look so out. So I have four eggs cracked in here and I'm just gonna poke the yolks and just whisk my eggs up. This is a super easy frugal recipe. You don't need to add any uh, salt and pepper because you're gonna season it. I'm sorry y'all, it is so hot in here. Make sure you give it a good whisk. Now we're going to move this up the way. It's starting to smell really good already. I think I'm going to put some uh, spinach in here as well. Just to make it a little healthy. I got like this three green blend. So, make it a little healthier uh, fried rice. So, let me grab that. This is a baby kale mix. And it has a uh, charred baby kale in spinach and it's going to be super healthy and delicious.
Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this up to about 340. To get it uh, really like a wok would do. A lot of heat makes it cook and uh, get delicious. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, this should go by pretty quick. Don't mind me sweating, it's so hot in here. So, what you're gonna need for your seasonings are some soy sauce. I like to use some Lori seasonings for flavor. Parsley. Minced onion. Garlic. And I like to use a tad bit of Cajun seasoning for flavor. You're going to need some apple cider, which I'm going to go get. So I got some raw, unfiltered apple cider here. And it's by White House. And, uh... It's 16 ounces and it cost me a buck for some raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar. So, I like to use that instead of a, like a rice vinegar. It's just healthier in all aspects. So, take off our lid there. Get this mixture down. I don't want my cabbage hard. So, now that everything else has cooked, I'm going to push it all to the side like this. The reason why we're having dinner early is because we're going to the movies later on. We're going to watch a free movie, actually, at Container Park. Um, if you guys live in, a, in Nevada... And you guys want to see us there. We're going tonight at about uh, 7. So, adding in my eggs. And I don't, you don't want to mix it because um, then it's not going to get uh, fluffy enough. But you do want to make sure that, uh, you know, you're just pulling it, you know, away, like so. Want to pull it from the edge and get that fried egg going. But you don't want to mix it in with the vegetables. going to be so good you guys and me and the girls are going to eat this um, for dinner tonight and uh, then we're going to take our snack or our 7 o'clock snack on the go sorry that I haven't been getting any videos done it's been hard being a mother over the summer I can't just spend my life vlogging um or making uh, meals and stuff like that. If you guys are interested in seeing like uh, what we do on a daily basis, like as a family, pretty much stay in the house, um, comment down below. I'll be glad to share with you guys. So, the eggs are about done. Hopefully you guys can see in the pan, um, but yeah, the eggs are officially done. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and mix in our veggies with the egg, and then I'm going to turn it back down and I'm going to 
come over here and move this trash can. And I'm going to start uh, scooping in the rice. And I'm just scooping, I'm not going to add all this rice, I'm just scooping to where I think it's going to be enough to feed all of us, because this is what we're having for dinner, so we're going to be having like a pretty hefty serving of this, so I'll add my garlic in last, just because I don't want it to burn, and my minced onions, so... Okay, I added about half of it. So let's go ahead and uh, take this back. It's super hot, y'all. That thing is so hot. Don't try that at home. So I'm gonna break this down some. It is uh, cooked. I prefer to use like day old rice, like after you cook it and you stick it in the fridge type thing and uh, have it the next day, but it didn't work out that way, so. Okay, so now let me go ahead and add in some dark soy, like so. And I'll add more as needed. Okay, gonna go in with our seasoning salt. Not too much, please don't add too much. Because that soy sauce and that uh, vinegar is going to uh, do that for us. And then we're gonna add a tad bit of water just to get it uh, mixed down. I'm going to go ahead and add in our parsley, just a little bit, then a little bit of Cajun, then about a tablespoon of garlic and a half, I love garlic. tablespoon, two tablespoons, a little more than that one, and that's it. Then we're going to add a little bit more olive oil, just like so, drizzle, just to get it fried up real good. So, I'm going to pull this closer to me because I feel like it's far away and get a real good toss in there of this. want to make sure that we get those vegetables throughout the whole entire thing. If I, if I need water, I'll add water, but it's not looking like I need water right now. 
You only want to add about two tablespoons at a time. That's if you need it. But that's like if you have like the day old rice, you need help uh, getting it soft and all that type of stuff. But this is freshly cooked rice, so you might not have that problem. It's all mixed in. Going to add a little bit more soy sauce. It's not a lot. You don't need a lot. Mama needs a drink. Okay. making sure all the white rice is getting colored on and getting some color to it. If you have white chunks of rice, make sure you break them down because a lot of times they have a hard time breaking down because they were cooked in a tight, like, compressed things, so they have a hard time breaking down. Um, I'm going to bring you guys closer so you guys can uh, see because I don't know how well you guys can see from there. But let me show you how good it looks up close. Don't mind me sweating. It is so hot. So, this is how it looks. And this is how your fried rice should look. No meat at it. It's going to be so good. You're going to have a nice, healthy portion of this. And that's going to be dinner. Hold on, yeah. My cord literally just came out. you guys that is how you make frugal fried rice so if you guys like the way I make this meal uh, comment down below and uh, I'll make more from this angle if y'all like it or if y'all want me to go back uh, by the stove and for my last thing that I like to do, is I like to just take some sugar and just sprinkle it in. Not, I'm not going to use the whole tablespoon, that's just too much sugar. But I like to get it to cut down some of that. Uh, that vinegar taste and that uh, soy sauce so that's why I add just a couple pinches like like you would salt just pinch it in and you want to taste accordingly and that's what I'm about to do taste it I'm really knocking all the food out over there Let's go ahead and give this a taste. See where we're at. Whew, it is so hot. I'd rather cook on this instead of turning on my stove, wasting a ton of electricity. So this is what I plan on using for the entire summer. Let me know. Mmm. This is real good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah, when that, this is a game changer. You can add shrimp, uh, pieces of salmon in here. Like I said, if you have one piece of salmon, you can cook it up and just break it up into your rice. Um, if you have imitation crab meat, you don't have to stay to the basics of this, but I have a lot of shrimp, but I don't want to waste it on this, even though it would have been good, but it's still good without it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. So we're about to have dinner. So. If you guys like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss out on anything that I may be uploading in the near future. And uh, I'll see you guys um, in the next video. Try out this recipe. I promise you guys will not be disappointed. It's going to be fulfilling, satisfying, and most of all, delicious. So, from my home to yours, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.